Venís conmigo. Riverbanks tell us a story of heroes. About stones that keep thousands of secrets. About rivers like snakes that caress ancient vines. A story about a place that exists. A unique and magical place. In the Ribera Sacra, monasteries and hermitages hide within ancient forests. Vines hang down from the banks towards the rivers. Small villages adorned with stones mark the passing of the days. The light is different and the air tastes like menthia. The land and the people are imbued with wine and spirituality. It's a different atmosphere. An amazing landscape that tells stories without words. The Romans, who came here in search of gold, grew vines on these slopes. They created the terraces. Stone steps covered in vines that dropped down towards the rivers, quickly, vertically. The wine and its cultivation in the Ribera Sacra are a way of understanding life. Winemakers and grape growers are workers of nature. They define the landscape with their hands and their effort. On the days of the grape harvest, the boxes loaded with grapes are carried on backs, balancing precariously between the stones as they are walked up to the road. From here, they are taken to the winery. Each drop of wine is the result of hard work that always starts at the vineyard. So nervous! 
They are heroes, trapeze artists, acrobats and jugglers. This kind of viticulture is unique to very few places in the world. It is known as mountain viticulture, and here we call it heroic viticulture. Tasks at the vineyard are done manually. This is the way of working that took these wines to the Caesars of Rome and that the monks would continue in the Middle Ages. The scenery and the hands leave their mark on the wine. Unique wines in which the local grape varieties can be appreciated especially Memphia in the red wine and Godeo in the white wine. The wines of the Dio Ribera Sacra are fresh, aromatic, Atlantic wines. These wines are associated with prestige and quality. To venture into this world of heroes, you will defy vertigo. Plough through the rivers and get lost in legendary settings. The bond between wine and landscape is the DNA of the Ribera Sacra and the rivers, its veins the Migno, the Sil, and the Cabe. Their waters creating pictures as they play with the earth, imaginary lines that will overwhelm you if you look, if you listen. that slides, slipping to dream and to awaken, it falls. Wine, stone. Stone is present in the Ribera Sacra, from the walls of the terraces to the most secluded monasteries. The first hermit settled in the Ribera Sacra in the 6th century. Those lonely men, dedicated to prayer, sought untamed places difficult to access. Later, through the Camino de Santiago, arrived the Benedictine and Cistercian orders. The aim remained the same, to find places of retreat. The Rebeira Sacra first began in the monasteries and churches, in the wooded groves, on the heights, 
watching the vineyards. Until it became the place that treasures the largest concentration of rural Romanesque monuments in Europe. Now the Ribera Sacra ceases to be sacrifice and becomes mysticism. you and you can hear the language of the soul in each stone each art in altarpieces and cloisters Touch the essence of time. Savour the calm. Each of these temples is evidence of human endeavour staged within nature. Some of them have been standing for more than 1,500 years. It's history, the art of never forgetting. past still reveals itself in fortresses and castles that speak of lords and vassals, swords and spears, commanding towns and watching as time passes by. Fortifications such as the ones at Castro Cardeles and Monforte de Lemos take you to the 16th century with the seventh counts of Lemos, when Don Pedro Fernandez de Castro became Viceroy of Naples. It all seems so distant, and at the same time, everything seems to stay the same. It is the unshakable stone, serene, complicit. As well as fortresses and castles, there are palaces and mansions, typically Galician buildings, magnificent examples of the power exercised by the nobility and the feudal lords. While you walk, you won't notice. But your steps are becoming more leisurely. Everything starts moving at a different pace. You will arrive at the most traditional inhabited areas of this magical land. 
small mountain villages and Ribeira towns. Here, the houses and roads hide a time reminiscent of today, but with a different tone. A journey to the past, to the memory of villages and to the origin of traditions. In the Ribeira Sacra, the stone never ends. There is stone in bridges, in paths, in crufeiros, in the pre-Christian remains, The architectural material used to build the Ribera Sacra. Used here to decorate dreams. And, since without past, there is no present, we arrive at life today. The atmosphere in the streets. Nosy balconies. People coming and going. Bodies tempered by the knowledge of their daily life. Without rushing their steps. Or their words. Boats shared among friends. Pilgrims looking for a place to spend the night. Is the essence of everyday life. In the Ribera Sacra, everyday life can surprise you. Every day there is a fiesta, and they are all different. Celebrations, classified as being of interest to tourists, follow one after another on the calendar. These gatherings praise the wine. They place value on the cultural traditions and awaken the appetite. It's folklore, a way of life. The human is once again merged with the divine to the Celtic mythology with everybody's past. We are the Ribera Sacra. Ancient rites and customs coexist with unique traditional crafts. Those jars, the stronger the heat, the cooler they kept the wine. Pero esta vez 
Pizza. 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 Of course it's heavy. And it's hot. Really hot. But the result is worth it. The Gundibos and Nino da Guia ceramics were originally used for wine and food. Nowadays, they are decorative items, reminiscent of a past way of life. The patience needed in order to make things. Yesterday turns into today as a whole new wave of artists maintain the traditions of the past. Artists of sensations, like everything here. Come, come to sail, to walk, walk always, pedal, lie on the riverbank, walk barefoot on the grass, let them take you through rivers, and roads. And look, look several times because you always see it differently. You will discover all the colours quietly resting between the seasons. The magic is in each step, in the landscape, in the way you see it. Also within the walls, through the many museums that bring you closer to the traditions, to the wine, to one of the best collections of religious art of the peninsula. To a past of steam locomotives and luxury carriages from when the railway lines began to link everything. Scraps of memories. Strokes of light and shadows. Ways of understanding. You'll get to know unique places where you can learn, experience culture, seize time. The 
The secrets are there. You just need to discover them. And then comes the pause, the break. Take off your jacket. Serve yourself a glass of wine. And look again. Now you see stone is in everything. The immobile stone. And the way of doing things, like before, by hand. Each second of the process being done by fingers. The result gives meaning to this way of life. the moment when you have time to enjoy sitting round the table. To be served dishes worthy of those Caesars of Rome. And to let them pamper you. Tasting the traditional and the modern. Opening your eyes to a mirage of flavours and scents. And before you finish, the liqueurs, the camadas, the spells, the rituals that open the doors to the ancestors. In the Ribera Sacra, there are fairies, Mouras, myths related with the rivers and the creatures that inhabit them, like the Shafias. Or the legend of the jealousy of Juno. Jupiter, who was in love with this land, wanted to possess it placed a river across it, the Minyo. His jealous wife Juno, in order to keep Jupiter away from his love for this beautiful place, opened a deep wound on its face, the Sill Canyon. Here, the stories, tales, legends, always travel the pathways of your mind. Because the Ribera Sacra sets the stage for living different stories. For always having stories to tell.